Our tale begins in the early 1950s, a time of booming industry and economic growth. In the hills of Riverside County, California, a man named James Stringfellow, an industrialist with a vision, sought to capitalize on this boom. He saw an opportunity in the waste produced by the burgeoning industries, and so the Stringfellow acid pits were born. Stringfellow's idea was simple. The pits would serve as a disposal site for industrial waste. Companies would pay to dump their unwanted byproducts into the pits, and Stringfellow would reap the benefits. It seemed like a win-win situation. But as we'll soon discover, things didn't quite pan out as planned. In the early years, everything seemed to be going smoothly. Thousands of gallons of waste poured into the pits daily, and business was booming. But beneath the surface, a disaster was brewing. The pits were leaking, and toxic waste was seeping into the groundwater. By the late 1960s, the problem had become impossible to ignore. Residents in the surrounding areas began reporting health problems from skin rashes to cancer. The pits had become a ticking time bomb. In 1972, the state of California stepped in. They shut down the pits and declared them a public health hazard. But the damage had already been done. The toxins had infiltrated the water supply, and the health effects were widespread. The following years saw a flurry of lawsuits and investigations. The Environmental Protection Agency declared the Stringfellow Acid Pits a Superfund site, marking it as one of the nation's most polluted places. Cleanup efforts began, but the process was slow and costly. Fast forward to the 21st century, and the legacy of the Stringfellow Acid Pits still haunts us. Despite decades of cleanup efforts, the site remains a toxic wasteland. The groundwater contamination continues to pose a threat, and the health effects are still being felt by the community. In conclusion, the Stringfellow Acid Pits serve as a chilling reminder of the consequences of unchecked industrial growth. They stand as a testament to the devastating impact that human activity can have on the environment, and the lasting harm that can befall a community when profit is prioritized over public health. This dark chapter in our history should serve as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the importance of environmental stewardship and the need for rigorous oversight of industrial practices. Let the story of the Stringfellow Acid Pits be a warning to us all.